Well, 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 something is about to happen around Cyberpunk 2077's new DLC releases because of a moment that happened recently on Palo Sasco's stream. This moment right here, which we're going to dive into and talk about right now, because it seems like Palo Sasco is teasing future DLC happening very, very soon. As you can see right here, Palo Sasco teases the DLC premiere this month. Smiley face. So we're going to dive into that right now, plus talk about the Steam database update that just happened for Cyberpunk's internal QA branch and what that means for future updates as well and a bunch of other news so let's do this hey everyone what's happening open world games here hope you're doing good and yes we are back in night city talking about more cyberpunk 2077 you know what let's go straight to palo sasco stream and see what he had to tease right now let's take a listen and uh, i'm feeling it, it feels like I'm, I'm just interrogating another guy from red so maybe i should ask him about the dlc right hellman where am i what is this place this is not important you need to tell me about the dlc like if you blink the dlc is being released this month he didn't blink, guys. Oh, he blinked. He blinked. He blinked. Want to talk about your Having said that, I think that the next stream, actually, I will have a really interesting surprise for you. And I hope that it's really going to happen uh, because preparing some things takes time. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm working on something. Um, and I, I hope that the next stream is going to be even uh, more interesting. So what I want to say. So there it is. It looks like we will be getting some sort of DLC announcement on his next stream, which should be happening within the next six to seven days, because that's when he usually streams. And that would be happening in early August. And of course, I have you guys covered on whatever DLC announcement that would be. Now, interestingly, also, you'll note that the character in that interrogation did blink when he asked, will we be seeing DLC release for cyberpunk this month honestly i think that he meant that it would be happening within the next month simply because they haven't even announced uh, the dlc stuff but yes the community is definitely talking about this moment in the stream and we're going to highlight what everyone is saying because you guys have some interesting theories as to what's going on as well we have separate emu who says this right here he goes on to say i may play captain obvious here but this month has only five working days left as it would make sense not to release anything on the end of the week that would mean that we should have an update in the next few days including right now as it is like 8 30 a.m. to 9 a.m. in Poland. So that's interesting. Honestly, again, I I would be very surprised if DLC started releasing in late July. I would expect free DLC at this point with this tease to be releasing starting in August. That's when they would begin releasing the free DLC. Now we have Pablo397 who also has another theory here check it out he says my theory is that he was supposed to announce it a week ago on the previous stream he kept emphasizing that it was his 13th stream and that he had some rumors about the dlc but because of his style of play he didn't manage to get to that scene and he couldn't use this scenario with an NPC looking like a cd project cred employee uh, so he did this tease yesterday but with only a few days left until the end of the month it sounded a bit strange smiley face so let me know if you guys think uh the dlc could potentially be releasing that soon that is in late july i mean there's only a couple days left here in july and i would be very very surprised if uh you know free dlc started releasing that soon now of course we haven't officially heard anything from like the cyberpunk social media channels that's when things would really start ramping up if you hear something from then uh, and the free DLC start releasing. Now, on the Steam database, if we go into the history of the QA branch, the internal branch here, where they update the game to test stuff out, they did actually update the game very recently, 18 hours ago as of making this video. So they are definitely testing out something with Cyberpunk right now internally, preparing perhaps a big update patch, something that will be happening. And we do know of officially from the community manager of cyberpunk 2077 that yes we will be of course getting update 1.3 
No release date on that just yet, so stay tuned for that one. But yeah, we've got a bunch of teases for the free DLC that's coming up here. And of course, we do know that update 1.3 is being worked on. Uh, now also, let's go ahead and talk about this one right here. Those recent leaks have been further explained. You guys may remember that recently there were leaks related to the free DLC. It looks like we're going to be getting apartments. We're going to also be getting more weapons and cosmetics for V as well. So let's take a look at what this uh, article has to say right here. It comes from GameRant.com and it goes into further detail. It says, as the leaker points out in their post, there are a few of the short codes that aren't the hardest to decipher. For instance, there are a number of codes with P and assuming that this stands for PAX, there is a reason to believe that there's information about smart weapons, power weapons, tech weapons, and blunt weapons. If this leak is to be believed, it could mean that CD Projekt Red plans to release a whole set of new weapons across different types. It would be really, really cool to see more melee weapons as well. I think uh, that would be a lot of fun for sure to really get some more melee builds in there too. Now, furthermore, they go on to say the following. There are also some codes that might point to some cosmetic items that might be coming with probably the most obvious being DLC 5 jackets. The reference to DLC 8 mirror and DLC for courts could potentially be new poses for the mirror or an option to customize the character's appearance. Some on Reddit also speculated that DLC 2 J poses might be new poses for the photo mode, providing characters even more opportunities to capture dynamic moments inside Night City. There's also speculation that DLC 6 apartment or a park, excuse me, might offer the player the opportunity to customize their apartment. And recently, you know, I did a video about one of the apartment mods that you can actually uh, check out where you can actually customize the look of your apartment. There's some really cool stuff you can do with the mods for sure. And I would love to see this sort of thing enter its way into Cyberpunk 2077 officially. Now, if we keep going, we also have this one right here that it's possible that we will be getting new map sections and quests in Night City. I think this makes a lot of sense, of course, according to these new leaks we have right here where they explain there are a few references in the supposed leak that seem like they point to areas of the map, such as DLC Cobb 01 being Kabuki and DLC 9RO being ARIO. Uh, these could stand for potential new additions of businesses to the map or even a new quest line that starts in that area. If the leak is credible, that could be free story content that comes out ahead of CD Projekt Red's famous DLC. So yeah, there's a big expansion also planned as well. Now, what's interesting is the DLC called Monster. It says there's also mention of a DLC 10 Monster, which sounds like the potential for a new high-level boss fight. This will provide an added challenge along with DLC 15 in uh, New Game Plus, which almost certainly stands for the New Game Plus mode, a common place in games. If the upcoming free DLC for Cyberpunk can be believed, it will provide a solid set of new challenges for the experienced player. And I think one of the most exciting ones to me would be the apartment. And then of course the new game plus is the biggest highlight out of the potential free DLCs that we could be seeing. And of course there was mention in the leak about expansion pack one and expansion pack two. Uh, and then another leaker claims that we would be getting three big expansions for Cyberpunk 2077. We'll see, that's going even beyond what The Witcher 3 uh, had, so yeah. We'll see what happens, but yeah, of course the modding community has been really, really busy and this is one thing that was kind of cut from Cyberpunk is the ability to actually mount walls and wall jump and wall run. Check this out right here. This is a really cool mod. This was posted by uh, Alaskan Bullworm. Coolest mod I have ever seen so far. You can now wall jump 15,000 upvotes, which shows how many people would absolutely love to see the ability to just do that hop on walls and do some parkour maneuvering. That would be so freaking cool to see officially. Let me know what type of mods you would like to see turned into official updates, by the way, for Cyberpunk 2077. There's a really cool mod that I wanted to highlight right here as well. If you're running the game on PC, this should really help you uh, with a very smooth experience. It is called right here, Cyberpunk New Mod Introduces Adaptive Graphics Quality Settings. And this is so cool because uh, when you are roaming around the city, you may be taking uh, lower frames in combat, 
as opposed to driving around. Now this adaptive graphics mod uh, introduces six different graphic presets that switch automatically depending on the game context, allowing players to experience Cyberpunk at its best at all times. The mod also features a tweak menu that allows users to modify other graphical settings like Bloom and so on. So yeah, that's really, really cool because honestly, I noticed for me, uh, frame rate problems, particularly when I'm in a car in the middle of the city. For some reason, that city really bogs down my frame rate, and this is going to definitely help you improve, uh, of course, that when you are roaming down this through the city. Now, there are additional details about this one. It says, automatically switch graphics quality depending on the game context. Have a default pre preset with ultra settings for when you're casually exploring Night City, a combat preset for when you need your FPS the most, and the photo mode preset for when you want the game to look as good as possible. So frame rate is not gonna be important when you're in photo mode, of course. This is like pretty much a photographer simulator in my opinion, because I've seen how amazing uh, the photography skills are with this game. But anyway, yeah, this mod can be super useful so you don't have to keep tweaking your settings. It's gonna be dynamic and help you out uh, with that for sure. So yeah. Uh, now, also, let's go ahead and go over my most recent video and check out what you guys had to say about that one. So, let's do this, shall we? Now, remember, your, your uh, comment may end up in a future video, but yeah, my most recent video is as follows right here. Yes, the free DLCs have been playable this entire time. Fans are not happy. So, it has been discovered recently that some of these supposed free DLCs are actually in the game. They are unfinished, of course. Uh, but yeah, with the power of mods, you can actually go in there and play them in their unfinished state and take a look at them. There's a couple of gigs in there. Now, it wouldn't have been as big of a deal if this game actually turned out to be really, really good on launch day. I don't think people would be as picky about this at all. But because of how the game turned out, you know how it is. <laughs> now let's see what you guys have to say about this one. Chunky goes on to say this, what is often free proves most costly. Takamura. Very well said. Full Potato Jacket says this, CD Projekt Red corporations are bad. Also CD Projekt Red, let's show you how bad by example. <laughs> 444 upvotes right there. Cyber Flint Flame says this one, at this point, they've dug a hole and the fans aren't throwing a rope to get them out. No, you know what? They're gonna have to really showcase some really cool stuff, in my opinion, with these free DLCs, but um, we'll see. You know, they're free DLCs. I would keep your expectations low. As indicated right here, it says, you know, having low expectations works wonders. I'm not surprised or mad at all about this. Hmm, must be a good way to live life. Alex Cameron says this, they really did not make a single correct decision with this, did they? Question marks. Uh, Master Oak says, the underwhelming life paths were the single feature I missed the most. Everything else I could forgive, but that one, major failure on their part. Even more when you have a game like Dragon Age Origins to take points from. Yeah, you know, there was a recent article about how, you know, the future of CD Projekt Red and what they're working on currently, perhaps with The Witcher 4 even, should really look to games like Dragon Age Origins. It seems to be like a game that's living up very, very well, uh, and a lot of games aren't even able to match that game's level of hype, I guess you would say. But there it is, everyone, uh, the most recent happenings around Cyberpunk 2077. So it seems like within the next week or so, I would expect an announcement about free DLC, and then perhaps they will start rolling out this free DLC content as early as August. That's my speculation from what we have seen, from what Paolo Sasco was saying on his stream. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. I will keep you guys in the know. But thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more Cyberpunk 2077 and open world gaming goodness. And I will see you all next time. Take care.